Hey guys, this is my completed 125th scale ERJ-175 model airplane. It's powered by two 50mm EDFs on 4 cell, they're 10 blade. It has already flown twice and in this video I'll go over the overview of how everything works, how I built it, and how it flies. The length of this model is 50 inches or about 1.3 meters. It weighs just over two pounds ready to fly on a four cell, uh, 2000 milliamp battery. It's definitely a little rocket. Before I show you guys the completed airplane, I'll give you a quick update on what's happened since the last build video, which I uploaded almost three years ago. The wing is a built up structure. I started with the inner part of the wing, which includes the two most important airfoils, the root airfoil and the engine pylon mount. The outer part of the wing was attached later with just a couple of Depron spars. Here are the main retracts being installed along with the wing being fitted to the fuselage. The wing body fairing was built straight to the fuselage using the plans. You can see it being fitted here. Two bolts hold the wing onto the fuselage. The first electric ducted fans I used were Dr. Mathras 4 cell template fans and they were terrible. They, as soon as I ran them up they actually um, exploded the the fans expanded and hit the shroud and the whole thing fell apart so that's why this build took too long so long I had to replace the EDFs and here are the new FMS template EDFs I have and this is the picture right before the maiden occurred I finished the plane and Delta connection collars this specific registration number is registered to Compass Airlines, which had a Delta contract. And in real life, uh, this Compass Airlines folded in, I think it was March 2020, which was only a month ago. So I put this registration on, November 613, Charlie Zulu, because that is the last registered Compass Airline plane that flew a revenue flight. I think it turned out pretty well. These are from Cali's Graphics. I recommend her. She does all the airline custom work for me. I'll show you guys a video clip right now of how I peel them off. So like I mentioned, this has two 50mm template 4 cell EDFs to power her. It's very powerful, it has fixed takeoff flaps, as you can see here, that turned out pretty nicely. I just kept them fixed because I figure my plane just flies around in the, in the pattern so I can just keep it slow that way without having the headache of trying to make slotted or fowler flaps at this skill. Uh, there's no spoilers on this little model so I just put some clear plastic plastic extensions on the aileron which turned out nicely you can barely see them. Some other cool features the rudder is internally linked you guys saw that in build part one. It has retracts I'll show you guys a clip right now. Here's a gear up, gear down. This is the internal part of the plane. The wing mounts with a bolt in the back, bolt in the front. The battery goes here one great thing this plane has is a gyro for the ailerons, rudder, and elevator and this really helps keep the scale smooth airliner effect going in the air so it really smooths out the flight. The fuselage is derived from paper model plans. I'll link those in the description box. And then of course all the internal structure is scratch built with foam and wood. It's covered in Ultra Coat Park Light which is a really light foam covering that you just use a simple iron on and a heat gun. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'll get you guys a flying video soon. Once my flying field opens up, I think the color is going to turn out fantastic in the air. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. I'll link the RC Group's build thread as well which has more pictures and then of course you can check out my Instagram at RC Airliners that's where a lot more pictures are and I update all my builds on there regularly.